For this week's Think Tank Central, we're focused on Israel's high alert defensive posture at its northern border with Syria as Russian and Iranian-backed regime forces continue to pound rebels into submission. The week began with the operational debut of the U.S.-Israel David Sling against a Syrian missile that was projected to land in Israel, but ended up falling short of the border. And then it was followed by Israel's use of Patriot missiles to down a Syrian fighter that had penetrated its airspace. I'm joined in the studio by Uzi Rubin, founding director of the Israel Missile Defense Office, now with the Jerusalem Institute for Strategic Studies, and Tal Imbar of Israel's Fisher Institute for Air and Space Strategic Studies. Gentlemen, welcome. Hey, Baba. Good Great. to be here again. Great to have you here. Thank you. So, Uzi, let's start with you. The Russian foreign minister and the Russian military chief of staff, uh, they were here this week trying to flesh out a plan for post-war <clears throat> Syria that theoretically at least would push the Iranians about 100 kilometers from the Israeli border. But given the ranges of the long-range missiles, uh, long-range rockets and the missiles in Syria, does this 100-kilometer Iranian-free zone make any difference on Israel's security calculus? No, not from the missile point of view, because uh, if you push the Iranian back, still Hezbollah remains there with whatever they have. And anyway, the Iranians have missiles that can reach Israel from Iran itself. So I think the, the, uh, what the policy of the Israeli government is, I don't know. But uh, from a practical point of well, view... You know, they, the Prime Minister wants uh, Iran completely out of a post-war city. That's what they say in the paper. But uh, maybe, he, maybe that's what he wants. I, I don't want to go into that. That's politics. Right. I'm talking about from the pragmatic point of view. Mm -hmm. This 100-kilometer proposal right. really has a value. But the value is not in, in, in the terms of missiles and ranges. The value is uh, in the terms of uh, the, the capability of the Iranian to harass Israel from the ground right. by local forces. If you keep them away, you don't let them organize guerrilla groups mm -hmm. like they started to do, when the Murania, young Murania started right. to do that. Uh, there, there is a value here. I, I think it's, uh, it's something. It's something better than nothing. It's All better right. than four kilometers. But can you tell us about the ranges of the missiles that are based in Syria that are capable of striking Israel? What is in Syria today, as much as I know, are missiles operated by Syria. Mm -hmm. The Iranians operate UAVs, which have tremendous range. Again, 100 kilometers doesn't mean anything. The Iranians used Iranian rockets, as much as I know, to attack the Golan right. uh, in May. But those were relatively short-range missiles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tal, Uzi touched on the um, unmanned threat that Iran uh, poses to Israel from Syria. Tell us about uh, you, these UAVs and even um, uh, cruise missiles and other air-breathing threats that Israel should be concerned about. Well, at the moment, I don't know of any cruise missile uh, of uh, Iranian origin uh, in the region, but uh, UAVs, uh, uh, sure, they have uh, some capabilities. Uh, mm -hmm. We saw it first on uh, 2006, uh, several penetrations of uh, UAVs uh, made in uh, Iran. They were the, the first generation or second generation Iranian UAVs, very crude in uh, relative uh, to uh, recent day mm -hmm. uh, capabilities. And just uh, some months ago, uh, we saw a penetration of a uh, very sophisticated Iranian made operated by, uh, by Iranians from Lebanon uh, right. to Israel uh, territory, and it was shot down. And it was the top of the line in terms of uh, radar cross-section. It, 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 it was supposed to be stealth UAV, um, and uh, at the end it was shot down. Let's talk about this uh, failed operational debut this week of the David Sling. Very disappointing. They're out the gate with a zero for two record. Um, what do you think uh, was a problem with the radar, human error, a combination of the two? Look, this is uh, every missile, every system like this is so complex and it has so many single point of failure that you can, you can say anything. If you don't know, everything is open. I don't know. And if I, even if I knew, I wouldn't, of course, share it with the Iranians who are probably recording what we are, uh, our <laughs> conversation now. So, um, uh, it can be a, a, anywhere. I'm sure that uh, people are not sleeping at night now. This yes. is not what's supposed to happen. I must stress. I don't know, uh, uh, David Sling was tested extensively before it was uh, announced uh, operational. Right. There were complicated tests. Uh, it showed good performance. 
And because of that, this misbehavior is perplexing. Now, what happens? I understand that this uh, uh, frontline hit to kill missile with all the sophisticated and secret technology inside, at least one of them uh, fell intact without self destructing in Syrian territory. Do you fear that it's right now in the hands of the Russians or even the Iranians? God forbid. I mean, this is about certainty. Yeah. Wow. So sad. But, but, but you have to face that because this happens in every war. You shoot things and and, and, and they fall in, in, into the enemy's hand. So it's, it's, it's always like Shouldn't this. Shouldn't it have self-destructed if Israel was losing control of this uh, top line? Doesn't solve it. Yeah. Self Should it have self-destructed, Tal? It, it, it doesn't solve the, the problem. We saw in, in, a, in a recent uh, uh, incident that uh, some of the uh, Warheads of the not the warhead the the uh, the nose cone of right. the of the uh, Iron Dome also fell in in the Syrian Golan uh, Golan Heights. So it, it it is a given when you fired rockets and, and missiles uh, the, the parts will fall uh, far away I from need you. To self destruct is misleading. Self destruct doesn't evaporate yeah. the hardware. It simply breaks it up. All out. right, but the crown jewels can be melted. They can be. Uh, no, 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 no. They don't go to this. Uh, it can be. They can melt by mistake when you fire it. You don't do that. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's talk in general. So, so Tell. This by the way, is for one reason. We are civilized people. You usually uh, expect your missile or design your missile to self destruct in order to hit uninvolved people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At least not to hit them with a the complete right. missile. You, uh, you can't really hit them with the hardware. So self destruct is not. Evaporating the missile, always the enemy always gain information on your hardware by by when the hardware is for, for being fired in his direction. Uh, Tal, uh, the U.S. Uh, has pledged five billion dollars over the coming decade to help Israel fortify its <coughs> multi-tiered defense network, uh, a generous sum to be sure. sure. But uh, is it enough? Uh, we're seeing uh, reports in the press th these days about an Israeli government program for 30 billion shekels, about $8 billion. Uh, it, will it come from the Israeli Treasury, or do you think they're going to go back to Uncle Sam for plus ups? <laughs> First, I don't know, but uh, when it's, uh, it's enough, I, I, I also don't know, because uh, we cannot uh, guarantee 100% um, safeguard against any attack of rockets and missiles. But uh, we cannot uh, expect 100 percent, but we want to, uh, uh, to uh, perfect uh, another layer of defense for the short-range mortar shells and so on, maybe some kind of uh, already existed right. laser uh, um, systems. Well, uh, Uzi, last yeah. word, be, uh, as one who navigated the halls of the Pentagon and on Capitol Hill, do you expect Israel to come back and ask the United States for more? You have to look at the details of this new package. It's not just for missile defense. I'm not sure even the majority is for missile defense. And I think people miss the fact that the uh, Minister of Finance uh, uh, signed a decree right. to, to harden 11 strategic uh, p p points in Israel. And the third part is, is missile offense, not missile defense. Right, right. This is the third part. This